your pet human, but it just <laughs> wouldn't be the done thing to be seen with you. It is amazing. <laughs> There's a table and a balcony, and the roof perfectly fits on top of the walls. What the heck? Look at this place. Wow. Hello everybody and welcome back to Cloudpunk. My name is of course Constantine and we have returned to what's about to become one of my most favorite indie games of 2020. I mean, look at this thing. This is absolutely gorgeous. And I gotta tell you, not only this, but the story so far has been really really amazing. And I am actually really intrigued to uh, keep on exploring the world here and see what else we can find out. So let's just carry on to our next mission here and uh, see what other deliveries we gotta do. Now, not quite sure exactly what was the deal with that previous package that we had to deliver lastly in the uh, previous episode. But hopefully, yeah, hopefully um, that uh, is not gonna be a big issue. I have a feeling someone wants us dead or someone wants us to stop delivering. I don't know why. But uh, anyway, let's just go through here first. Let's try, let's try to make our way to uh, the next point here. Apparently we gotta go to pick up payload at Life Corp Industries. Alright, so let's see. The package should be right here on the left side. So let's just park the car. I mean, we are definitely getting a little bit better here. Controlling this vehicle. And I'm most definitely enjoying this. Alright, so let's see. Can we pass through here? Yes, we can. Now, what is this symbol though? I see that there's a coin symbol or something right over here. Hmm. I'm guessing this is for the cop? Or maybe the. Oh, no, no, never mind. It's the, uh, it's the ATMs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please enter your security code. What? One, two, three, four. Can I enter this or do I have to use this? Five? Mm, that is not correct. How do I know my security code though? Huh. I don't even know. Oh, pull up. Pick up. Is this the package? Open inventory. Oh, never mind. We just found the flyer. What? I had no idea we are going to have an inventory. What the heck? Look at this. We have a blue flower. A dried flower from the Eastern Peninsula. I used this as a bookmark when I was back home, but I hardly read anymore. I should throw this away, but when I think about it, going into a trash and here in Nivellus. Something feels wrong and I can't let it go. <laughs> right, this flyer card says it's for an Android dating agency, but it doesn't say it's a dating agency for Androids or humans. My old flute? I don't want that right now. Huh. Interesting, so apparently we used to be a musician. Anyway, let's see. So the mission should be in here. Hmm. What crap is the mission? Is it inside this building? We cannot go inside there. So I'm not sure where the package is supposed to be. Oh, never mind. It's the Life Corp employee right here. I'm here to collect. Sign here, please. You'll find the package on the roof through the hotel entry to your right. The access code is B965E. And B965E. Don't, talk to e. don't what? Don't talk to the package. You'll see what I mean. It won't <laughs> shut up. It's going to Avalon Heights. What the heck? They're expecting you. What type of packages am I even delivering? What the crap? Right, so apparently the uh oh, who's Ava? Driver 14FC. This is an automated message to inform you that you have received your first and final warning for a delivery violation, misdemeanor number 001. Failure to deliver to recipient through gross negligence and or crisis of conscience. Further infractions will result in termination of your employment with Cloudpunk. Oh crap! Note that what if your the heck? Contract is terminated. Remote access to your Hava will be severed at the point of termination, and you will be liable for any loss or damage to you, your body, or any other third parties if you make an unscheduled, uncontrolled landing due to sudden loss of vehicle control. Please reply with yes if you understand. Yes. Are you freaking kidding me right now? What Audio the heck? Audio confirmation of infraction report received. You have been warned. Doesn't Control have anything to say about this? Control is currently unavailable. Wow. All right. Well, uh, in that case, let's just uh, go through here. Apparently, this is the uh, rooftop. 
Who's that guy? Oh, nobody we can interact with. Oh, I think we just found the uh, package. Or maybe not? Hmm. Open inventory, what is this? It's a punch card. It's covered in holes. They seem random, but there is a pattern. The card itself is heavy and thick. It feels like it could survive a bomb blast. What? What am I supposed to do with all the stuff that I'm collecting, though? Man, I'm really loving this. Uh, somehow, this feels like a point and clicker. <laughs> And uh, you guys really know that I am a big fan of the, these type of games. Alright, anyway, so let's see. This is the Access Restricted. Oh, okay, so the code is uh, B96 uh, 5E. There we go. Interesting. Alright, what am I supposed to do here then? Uh, pick up box. I'm guessing this is gonna be the package, right? What is this? Huh. Is this guy talking to me? Oh, the package is trying to talk to me. Ah, I get it. I remember now. Uh, because that dude told me not to talk to it. Crap. Uh, so apparently I cannot go... Or never mind. Apparently I can go here. Repair lift. What? Are you serious right now? Is this gonna be like a... Secret thing? Wow. Okay, so apparently if we can get ourselves some uh, coolant, we can actually repair this elevator and use it to go down. But, uh, then where? <laughs> Alright, anyway, let's uh, keep going here because we definitely don't have coolant. Let's try to deliver this package. I mean, hold up. Could I maybe put some marks on the map here? Yeah, it doesn't look like I can place anything. Because I would love it if I could place a uh, waypoint or something, just to remember where that elevator is, just uh, just in case we wanted to fix it later on. Anyway, uh, let's keep going. Let's go back to the ship. So I'm guessing the ship is... I mean, it's supposed to be right here. This is where we left it. Alright, there we go. Now, let's see, the new area is going to be two kilometers away, I think. Hello. Can you hear me? <laughs> I can hear you, Box. I knew it. How the Box is going to start talking to us. Camus, we're not supposed to talk to the Box. <laughs> I completely understand. Avalon Heights. Uh, uh, hmm. Are you an android too, Camus? Fine. You can answer him, Camus. I, I mean, Camus can talk with him. I'm not going to talk with dog. him, so we're or not doing anything wrong about that. I am a dog car. How strange. <laughs> hey, fella, you're a box. I am in a box. My name is William. What are you if you're not a box? I told you, I am William. But what are you? I was a sous chef in Little China, but not anymore. I'm moving hmm. up in the world. In a way, that makes me sad, too. How come? Because I won't be able to talk to little people like you anymore. Little that people? Be a shame. What do you mean? But it will all be worth it. Avalon Heights. I can't wait. <laughs> Alright, so apparently we're going to Avalon Heights. I have a feeling this what is going to be a uh, high district. Yet. It's exciting. Maybe I'll be working as a personal assistant to some pop star. Or maybe even a CEO. Perhaps oh. I'll be an executive at one of those big corps. Hiring and firing. I would love to fire a human one day. Oh, no offense, driver. None taken. What's it like being a driver? I love to hear about poor people. Now that I will be rich, what? I might oh even my be god, this freaking AI, guys. though. <laughs> you won't be invited. Are course, you kidding me right now? I would talk about you. Thanks. And I've only been a driver wow. for a little while. I was a musician. Uh, all right, hold up. Where do I, I have to deliver this? Of course, I would be too rich and too busy to learn to play. <laughs> but I might get some augments so that I can perform. 
Maybe the saxophone. Uh-huh. Mm. Rania lost her home and we were evicted, Box. I mean, William, we had to move to the city. Wh why? Debt corpse. Oh yes, they can't be very unpleasant. I have heard. She had to sell my body for money too. A circumstance with which I am familiar. I sold my body also. You see, a chef's android body is worth a lot these days. My body was the only part of me worth anything. Now I'm just a head and a dream. Hold up, buddy. Can Where is a parking space here? I do need to. Uh, see the head. Let's look at the map for a second. No, we're not allowed to. Wait, these guys the are packages. talking here. We're right, so the parking is straight up either. here. I am sad. Let's see if we can park He'll somewhere get right over here. It. Yes, doggy. Don't worry. Oh. One day you will have a lovely. Uh, like there we go, mine. we got it. Finally. What will your new body be like? Oh, I'm sure it will be something good. I <laughs> traded my old body, my apartment, and all my savings for this place in the spire. Surely they have the best android frames there, too. Man, look at the city. This is really good. I'm loving this. Now, uh, why did the conversation stop though? Hmm, is it because we exited the car? I really hope that they would keep talking as I'm going to uh, deliver the package, but anyway. Look at all this stuff. This city is looking gorgeous. Alright, anyway, so let's get this thing delivered here. Um, I think we gotta go up with the elevator. Avalon Heights. Huh. I think we're getting money every time we're discovering a new location. I'm pretty sure about that. So let's see. Where do I have to go? I, have, I think we gotta wait for the elevator, yeah. Anything on this billboard? No. I see that it, there is a shopping cart right here. Hmm. Can I interact? Oh, it's the merchant. Never mind. That's the uh, merchant icon. Alright. Come on, elevator. I think I gotta go up. This. <laughs> Alright, so we are at the heights. Uh, let's keep going here. So our package should be all the way to the right side. Uh, but first, what is this icon supposed to be? Pick up. Oh, did we just found some used batteries? No way! We are definitely collecting a lot of stuff. And look at this. This sells for 80 coins. The uranium in this battery hasn't fully degraded yet. Should yield in some limbs if I sell it to a vendor. Oh, hold up. So I'm guessing we are not talking about dollars here. Uh, the money is called limbs. Huh. Alright, and we got some more limbs just because we accessed a new area. That is perfect. Alright, so let's see, we gotta deliver this to Reginald, Reginald Buckley. Hmm. Did somebody that has a lot of money just order a Chef AI? I think that's the case, right? Uh, and apparently there is something in this trash can all the way in the back here as well. Let's see, what can we find? Oh, what was that? Corpsic flyer. Damn, so much stuff that we are finding. Look at this, this is worth uh, 50 limbs. Then trying to recruit for their informant program. Great text on a dark gray background. Inspiring. Hmm. Alright, apparently there's gonna be a lot of collectibles in the game. Look at this, one here, two over here. Holy crap, a lot of stuff that we gotta keep on finding. But uh, if you guys know me, I really love I really love these type of games, and I am a completionist. So finding all these type of collectibles is definitely something I really enjoy doing. Uh, oh, what is this? Uh, this a memory chip. This has been formatted, but that just means someone else can use it. All right, sixty-five coins for that. Perfect. And I think our mission should be. Right over here. Look at this. Uh, original Buckley. Hello? We have a delivery. His name is William. 
I'm the supervisor for this shift. Domestic android supervisor, Reginald Esquire Buckley Senior. You're a vacuum cleaner? <laughs> no. I am a refuse disposal officer with cleaning functions. The senior refuse disposal officer. And this is our new recruit. William, your head will be mounted on a Digitlux Cleaning Unit 3000. And you will be working on the 3287th floor of Avalon Heights as the junior apprentice unit. Sorry, William. <laughs> Sorry for what? I am to be the junior apprentice. Please pass me over to Mr. Buckley. I am keen to get to work. And you do understand that we can no longer be friends, right? I like you and your pet human, but it just <laughs> wouldn't be the done thing to be seen with you. Oh my god. Oh, I understand. I am happy for you. Goodbye, William. <laughs> I cannot be friends with you and your pet human. Seriously, buddy. <laughs> Vehicle are we unlocked? Speed booster. No way. I definitely need to make my way to uh, one of these upgrade locations just so that we can try to upgrade our vehicle. Uh, let's see, what's up with this merchant? Here's what I can offer you today. Huh. Oh, yellow shades and a racer jacket. Holy crap. Are you kidding me? Uh, they are really fancy though. I Thanks. don't want to do any of that. Yeah, sorry about that, buddy. Um, I don't want to spend my money on anything right now because we are definitely not having that much. Alright, so, uh... Ooh, Can these are portals. Awesome. I do not. <laughs> okay. Me neither. <laughs> well, we took William to his new home. I think we should go and check on ours. We have a home. Is it big? Does it have a garden? Do I have my own room? Sorry, Camus. It's not really a home. It's just a place where we can stay for a while. And it's all I can afford on a Cloudpunk salary. No pool, no butler. I'm not even sure we have running water. Maybe we can go somewhere nicer if Cloudpunk pays us lots. Camus, life is going to be hard here in Nivalis. You need to prepare yourself for that. Even this place might be too expensive. We can't afford to mess up. Got it? One bad night and we could be evicted. I understand. So don't get excited about this new place. It's not much. Okay, okay, I understand. I am still excited. Hold on a minute. Apparently we are gonna go home here. We are gonna visit our home. Oh my god, I really hope that we get to upgrade all this stuff, or at least uh, that we get to buy a new home or something like that. That would be amazing. Uh, let's look at the map for a second first, uh, because our apartment is now re right here. We gotta go, of course, on a different area. We cannot afford living in the in the heights here, that's for sure. Man, I'm loving the sounds in the background. Everything has been real thought out, I gotta tell you. This definitely doesn't feel like an indie game. <laughs> it's way, way too good. Alright, uh, so we are back to our vehicle. Let's just, uh, let's just go to our apartment then. Let's see how our home looks. I'm really curious to see that. So if we enter the highway right here, we are gonna have more speed. Which in turn, it will probably result in consuming less fuel. I don't know. Hopefully. Now, I really have to check some upgrade stations just to see what the prices are in order to upgrade stuff. Just to try to uh, understand how much money we have. Because, I don't know, couldn't we have 2,000 points or 2,000 limbs? But um, I'm not quite sure how expensive upgrades are. Let's get the map for a second just so that we know where we're going. Ah, uh, yeah, I think we're good. I think we're going the right way. Alright, and we have a parking spot. Actually, my home should be down here, so I think I'm gonna park right over here. There we go. 
All right, uh, so anything hiding around here? I don't really see it. I see that there is a character we can interact with, Evelyn. Huh. Oh, uh, let's uh, have a chat with this guy first. Gaz, what good time. What are you time. looking for? Whatever it is, <laughs> I got it. All right, apparently, apparently this guy is another merchant. Purse. And black sunglasses. Ooh. This looks really good. But what about the purse? A designer purse. Can I sell Thanks. stuff? Hey, come back anytime. Oh, okay, never mind. Uh, let's have a chat with Evelyn then. Do I know you? Do I know you? <laughs> what? If I knew you, I might not know. What? Let me try this again. Why are you hanging around outside my apartment? Are you with the Debt Corp or Corpsec? Are you spying on me? I am your neighbor. Oh. Shouldn't you be in your apartment then? I am waiting to talk with you. Huh. What do you want? All right. I want to know if I know you, if we used to know each other, if we were friends. No, I just moved in. I've never met you before. Are you okay? No. Huh. You're an android, right? So did you have a firmware upgrade that went wrong or something? I hear those can cause androids to lose their memories, I think. No. Do you remember my friend, Dr. Zizic? We live Zizic. next door. No, I told you I just moved in. She is missing. I am alone. Look, I'm really busy. I just moved here and I barely have any money. I don't want money. Why would you say that? I didn't ask you for money. I'm sorry. I just don't know if I'm the best person to help you. I don't know anyone else. There's some homeless shelters for androids downtown. I have a home. What do you think I can do for you? There is a card. It was posted into your mail. I think it is for me. That's it? Just a card? Yes, I need it. It is how I will start to come back to me. Hmm, interesting. So maybe we gotta check our mail here and uh, see what she's talking about. Um, before we do that though, I see that there is some hidden collectibles in the background here. And I really want to go and check it out. It's all the way on the uh, other side of my apartment. So let's just head on out right over here. Man, this uh, this place really looks cheap actually. Yeah, that's for sure. Alright, so the collectibles should be right here somewhere. What is that? Plaster parts. Huh. What is this? L ruined plasteel. Can be melted down and reused. Maybe I can sell it. Hmm, 30 bucks for this. Alright, not bad. So, uh, this game is gonna be a lot about collectibles, that's for sure. A lot about collecting resources, selling them, and uh, making an easy buck, I don't know. Anyway, uh, let's just uh, head on back home then. Let's see, let's try to enter our apartment. I'm really curious if we're gonna be able to see how our apartment looks, though. I really hope that they uh, they have done something like that. Also, let's look in the corner here because apparently there is something all the way back here. What is this? Ruined book. A well thumbed copy of some ancient paperback. It has a topless man on the cover. Weird. Oh, this is so expensive. Look at this. 150. Alright, well, good thing that we found that. Anyway, let's just look in the um, apartment, I guess. Maybe we can find something in the post box and give it to Evelyn. I don't know what that is, but anyway. Wow, look at this. We can actually see our apartment. No way. Oh my god, I'm loving this. This is so cool. Camus, can you read me? I'm in the apartment. You're authorized to access the systems in here. Huh. I am here. It is amazing. <laughs> There's a table and a balcony, and the roof perfectly fits on top of the walls. <laughs> yeah, it's all right, I guess. A bit sparse. Oh my I'd god, the, the dog is so funny. I love it that we have clinical. a freaking pet. Do you remember the birds we had back home? Yes. We also have a balcony, seriously? I could never catch them. Yeah, what? Not much chance of wildlife here. This is so there cool. Are rats. I detect almost 50 within the property. Ugh, do me a favor, Camus. <laughs> Never mention rats again. Okay. Konima. There are also a number of rare breeds of sump spider. 
Ugh, all so not good. Come on, we should get back to work. If I get a bonus tonight, maybe I can buy a picture. Or a mirror, or something. Alright, well look at this. I am loving it that we have a balcony, I mean... She said that this place is cheap, but look at this. This is so good, it's really big. I was not expecting this big. 14 FC, this is control. Come in. All right, buddy. What's up? Deliver a package to the Sin Wave nightclub. The Sin Wave nightclub. In person to the rooftop. That's where oh. you can access the VIP area. Huh. So I just go to the door and. <laughs> not gonna lie to you, kid. This one is gonna be tricky, but I think you can do it. The club's picky about who gets in. Have you heard of Lomo? No. Lomo. He's the owner of the club and most of this sector too. He's got a piece of every business in the Undertown, and he didn't get them by asking nicely. Be careful about him. I will. Are they expecting me? Sure. I'm just letting you know you might come up against some resistance. These are powerful people, so watch what you say. Powerful people? Let's just say they're very private clients who have reason to suspect any strangers might be undercover corpsec. You'll have to convince them otherwise. Understood. And 14 FC? Yeah? This has been a tough night for the company. We're understaffed and overworked and we keep losing contact with drivers. There's something in the air tonight. Be careful. And if you do a good job on this delivery, all past infractions are forgiven. Understood? Understood. Alright, this uh, doesn't sound good. Not quite sure what that's all about, but uh, at least they are gonna forgive us. Uh, before we do anything, I see that we have the package here for Evelyn, so let's just grab it. And I'm definitely gonna look at it and see what this is all about. Um, it's a punch card. Oh, we cannot check it. Hmm. We just gotta deliver it to her. Uh, before we do that, though, I was looking uh, around here and I saw that there is an upgrade table. So let's see what this is all about. Oh, buy upgrades. Get a random pizza delivery for one month. <laughs> pizza subscription. Uh, a plant. It is weird that this plant glows in the dark, or weird that it kinda that I kinda like it. So these are the upgrades that we can do to our apartment. No way. We can definitely do that. Look at this. A music player. A doghouse. A retro game console. What? This thing is ancient. I kinda wanna try it. <laughs> Um, you know what I'm going to go with? Since we do have a pet, and I'm really loving it, uh, I think I'm just going to buy him a dog house. Just, uh, just to make him feel like home some more. Why not? So let's just do that. Ah, that's good. <laughs> Look at it. it! They actually placed it in the game right here. No way. Oh my god. I am definitely loving this. Alright, anyway, in that case, let's just leave the apartment. Let's go and give Evelyn her punch card, I guess. All right, there we go. And let's give Evelyn this card. I found the card. You can have it. Thank you. So, what is it? A punch card. Which is? A relic. Dr. Zizitz liked old things. Antiques. Our home is filled with grandfather clocks, teapots, DVD players. But this card... I know this is just the first of many. Where are the rest? You don't want me to check with all our neighbors, do you? The rest were with Dr. Zizic. They are scattered. So, where is Dr. Zizic? She is also scattered. You mean... Last month, the 1875 B shuttle for Phobos took off from Terminal B, while the launch bay doors were still closed. One of a series of systemic failures that took place across a range of Navalis's safety protocol algorithms the explosion caught over 100 vehicles in the blast radius, including Dr. Zizic's Hova. So she's... I'm sorry. You did not know her, but thank you. She was your flatmate? We were best friends. We came to Navalis together. We met at the periphery. She was the last doctor to leave. I was the last surgeon. So you are Dr. Evelyn? Although I was conferred the title, none of the humans used it. But if you were operating and saving lives, you were a doctor. If no one calls you a doctor or treats you like one, you are not a doctor. 
<laughs> Still, you were saving lives and... What? Please do not tell me how to label myself. Sorry. So, the periphery? I hear it was pretty dangerous out there. It was. But Nivalis is dangerous, too. Is it better here, in the city? I saw terrible things at the periphery. But there was hope. Friends. I have not found those things here yet. Will you set up practice here in Nivalis? I don't know. Dr. Zizic had a plan for us, but it is no longer in my memories. I guess I can look for these pages. I travel around the city, so... It would help me a great deal. Please bring me any you find. I will. And if you need anything else, well, we're neighbors, right? We can look out for each other. Yes. Neighbors. Wow, look at this. So apparently all those punch cards that we keep on finding, we gotta bring them back to Evelyn. Uh, and apparently we gotta bring her 20 of these. Currently we just gave her one, but we do have another one. So let's just give that one to her as well. Uh, can we? Hold up. Do we have another one? We definitely have another one here, so why can't I give it to her? Hmm. Maybe we gotta leave this area and then once we come back we are gonna be able to give it to her. Yeah, alright. Uh, I'm definitely gonna do that later on. In that case, let's just make our way back to our vehicle here, to our hova. Unlicensed jazz. What? Are you kidding me right now? That is so silly. So I think we are a jazz player because we used to be a musician. Hmm. Anyway, let's just hop on the car and we are gonna explore that theory later on. For now, we gotta make our way to Cloudpunk HQ. Let's grab another package. Alright, and there we go. Man, this game is insanely good. I am really enjoying this. Well, if you guys are really enjoying these type of neon punk games and uh, you are not a fan of first person shooters, of course, such as uh, Cyberpunk, well then, this game might actually uh, be more for you. I don't know. Hopefully. Uh, in the meantime, I think I see where I gotta go next. It's right over here. Cloud Punk should be down over here. So let's see, let's just park the car first. And I think there are some packages around here that we can also grab, so let's see. Before we do anything, I do want to have a chat with this guy. Gang member. What? Hey, come here a minute. Why? What is this? We want to talk to you. So talk. What do you do? Delivery driver? You're Cloud Punk, right? So you must be thinking you're pretty badass. If you say so. <laughs> Why you be nice to her? She delivers to the spire. She don't respect us. Show me something to respect then. You're sassy. Acting like you weren't afraid of us. I ain't. She don't know who she's talking to, Razor. She don't know how you got that name. <laughs> Razor, are you a shaving robot? <laughs> you don't gotta take that from oh her. Oh my god, Razor. I'm loving you it. Do something. Nah, I like her. She's got a big mouth like me. So right. you're both part of Block 4.0, right? You heard of us. I heard there's Maybe an did. android gang I should avoid. That's good advice. Oh, so you what's don't he talking? Get Let's just way. look at the map for a second. Oh. Why do you get such a bad reputation? We do a lot of things we ain't supposed to. Robbing people? Nah, much worse. Urban renewal, bitch. Oh yeah. <laughs> Wait, what? Urban renewal. What's he talking yeah. about? Community project. Planting gardens on corporate waste ground. Turning old factories into playgrounds. Real hardcore shit. I mean, no, I don't get it at all. There ain't nothing in Navalis that will get you in more trouble than fucking with corporate property. We would be safer if we were straight murdering fools. Well, good luck, I guess. That sounds like a worthwhile thing for a gang to do. 
I just figured gangs in Navalis were a bit more... You assumed wrong, but that's all right. We ain't surprised they talk shit about us. Well, I won't. I hope you two never get caught. Fuck yeah! You was right, Razor. She's all right. You stay loose, Cloudpunk. We see you later. All right, there we go. So apparently, these are the gang members. Um, well, I'm really happy that we got acquainted to them. At least uh, we got to have a chat with them, and they kind of like us, apparently. Anyway, let's grab whatever is hiding up here. Some more scrap, apparently. Perfect. And I think I, uh, that's gonna be it for now. What I want to do next is just head on inside Cloudpunk here and grab another del delivery package. Let's see, I'm guessing this is the one. We have his package, but will hmm. Lomo think we are undercover corpsec? We don't look like undercover corpsec. What would undercover corpsec look like, Camus? I guess maybe like us. We have to act natural, not suspicious. Exactly. It is hard to act not suspicious when you are worried about being killed. You know what else <laughs> doesn't help? Talking too much? Exactly. You're learning fast, Camus. <laughs> All right. Um, so I'm wondering, is my did my dog actually? Oh, uh, what the heck is this guy doing? Seriously, I was not expecting that. Uh, let's just go straight up through here then, because I do want to make it to this next destination. And I have a feeling it's all the way up there in this building, maybe, or maybe not. Never mind. Oh, it's on a different location. Never mind. We gotta pass through the tunnel again. Alright, so apparently we gotta make it to Scene Wave Nightclub. Oh, uh, I think this one is one kilometer away. Let's see, maybe if we go through here. Alright, we're getting close. Now, hopefully we're gonna be all good here, because apparently... These guys are not really that nice. Uh, go on, buddy. There has to be a left turn here. Alright, there we go. I mean, I'm driving on the other side of the roads. <laughs> it's a little bit difficult to control the car, but hopefully, once we get ourselves some upgrades, hopefully this everything is going to be much easier then. There should be a parking spot right here, right? Hold up, we are not in the right location. I mean, we are where we have to be, but we just have to find the parking spot. Which is all the way down here. Alright, I mean, I really enjoyed that we cannot really park whatever we want. We only have to park in the parking spaces. This is actually uh, getting us to run across the town a little bit and enjoy it. I mean, look at this. It's so beautiful. And I gotta tell you, the rain is actually improving the look of the game so much. Uh, okay, so we what do we have here? Ooh, another punch card for Evelyn. Interesting. Now, I don't understand why she says that we only have two for her. Hmm. Because we already had two of them. So what the heck happened with the other one? Hopefully it didn't glitch though. Anyway, let's keep looking. Or actually, the first card that we gave her, maybe that one didn't count? And the cards are actually gonna start counting only starting from now. Yeah, I think that's exactly what's happening. Alright, anyway, let's see. We gotta go straight up to this side and we have four more secret packages we gotta find. And I think one of them is actually straight through here. Let's just go and grab this one. Yeah, I know, I know I'm know. i gonna do a lot of this stuff in the game. Uh, if you guys do not enjoy me going around and collecting all this stuff, please let me know down in the comments below so that uh, I may just do that maybe in my own time. I don't know. Electronics. Interesting. Alright, so we are done with this. Because, once again, as you guys know, I am a completionist and I really enjoy collecting all the stuff in the games. But, uh, of course, if you guys do not enjoy this type of stuff, I will definitely stop doing that and collect all the, all the resources in my own time. 
Ooh, Ocarina. What the heck is that? This is an Ocarina. My mom played one like this when I was young. Oh, it's a music instrument. I guess someone lost it. It's dirty, but I think it still works. Huh. Maybe we gotta find the person that lost it so that we can give it back to him? I don't know. Uh, Big Narco. Yeah, I'm not gonna have a chat with anybody right now, just yet, actually. Um, I'm gonna go straight for the mission here first, and then we are gonna see what else we gotta do. It's a trading card. Ooh, gold series. This one is pretty rare. I wonder if Joe liked the picture they used on this card. This must be from a few years back. He looks much younger. <laughs> Alright, so we got that going. Uh, next up, we gotta find our way... Hmm... Through here. How do we do that? Maybe we gotta cross where this guy is? I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, maybe we gotta cross through this uh, building because there is a bouncer. So I'm guessing we are gonna go inside the uh, club here. Let's see. Who are you? I'm here to deliver a package. Sure you are. Fuck off. Look, what do you mean, buddy? I need to get past. They're expecting me in the VIP area upstairs. Make it worth my while. How? I don't have much money. I don't want money. Get me some juice. Oh my juice? god. Come on. Just get one some drugs. Bottles. Corpse sack aren't allowed to hold them. So mm. if you bring me some, I know you ain't a cop and I can sell them. Dang it. All right. So apparently we got to give this guy some juice. And I don't really know where to buy from. Maybe this guy, the big narco. Let's see. You from the east, lady? You're good, but no corpse sec. All right, so he's got some juice. Ah, crap. I really didn't want it to buy this, but whatever. Thanks. Hopefully that's gonna be enough. I'm not gonna buy more. You folks from the east are good with me, but no sec. All right, buddy. I gotcha. Let's see. Is the bouncer gonna let me let me inside now? Hopefully he doesn't want more. I brought your juice. All right, go ahead. Ah, there we go. We got it. Perfect. All right. And we can enter the club. What the heck? Look at this place. Wow. Well, apparently the party didn't start. <laughs> now, before we go and uh, grab what we need, let's just go back here for a second. Uh, because there is a secret package that we can grab. Memory chip. Perfect. No way, listen to the club music. <laughs> this is so cool. I'm the delivery driver. I have your package. You're not Carmine. He used to run my packages. Oh, he sorry retired. about that, buddy. I'm gonna do him from now on. You're tired, eh? You know who I am, driver. Lomo? That's right. You bring me packages. No questions. No mistakes. We'll be friends. If you let me down, Probably not. I understand. What's your name? Rania. Well, Rania, I have some advice for you. You want to hear it? <sighs> Alright, sure. sure. Go ahead. You got a don't fuck with me look on your face. <laughs> but those are some clean hands. In oh my city, god. You've got to adapt quick. All the shit in the world ends up in the sea. But we still swim in it. If you dilute anything enough, it becomes... Tolerable. You hear what I'm saying? Hmm. Not I really. I think I get it actually. The city moves real fast, and you got to move with it. You make a million choices a day to survive in Nevalis, and some of those choices are gonna hurt folks. You ain't got time to think about that. You just keep moving. Understand? I think so. All right. Get going then, Rania. Cora Willing, you might just make it through the night. <laughs> Cora Willing, is that some sort of a god or something like that? I don't know. But uh, I have a feeling, in this game we are going to have to do a lot of choices. And these choices might actually affect our gameplay here. Um, oh, hold up, why did I leave the club? Were there any more packages in there? No, I actually need to grab the car go with the car on the parking space here and grab all the uh, secret stuff in here. Mm, there's another parking place here with a lot of stuff as well that we could get. Camus, you there? Yes, I'm here. Camus, people keep mentioning Cora. What is it? 
Not sure. Just an expression? Yeah, I get that, but it must come from somewhere. Do a basic search through Open Web and PubWeb. Searching. 872 different definitions for Cora. Just give me the gist. In the city of Nivalis, Cora can be used in common parlance to refer to the personification of luck or fate. Can be uttered as a blessing or a curse. Can refer to the hacker collective or cult of the same name. Can be an expletive or used as a noun to refer to the AI governing specific aspects of logistics. Theology, sociology, or infrastructure of city operation. In historical context, can refer to the... Okay, that's plenty. You know, you really need to learn a bit about the word relevance, chemist. <laughs> Should I look it up? Wait, we have an incoming call. Get oh. you there. Ready for another job? Sure thing. Oh, so that's control, getting a lot of job what here. Is Cora. Cora, uh, a code word used by hackers and an anarchist group, an expression for when you're tired of shit. Why do you ask? It doesn't mm. matter. He's definitely not being sincere Just with give us. Me my next job. You're delivering to an unsanctioned street race, so watch out for Corpsec. Pick up a drive converter from Emmett's garage. Your delivery target is Never Slow Joe. Control out. Huh. Chemist, All right, well, look there? at that. I think we're actually going to be able to Here? upgrade our car real soon. Chemist, I want you to do a deep search for Cora. Not mainstream corp networks. Hit the deep net and the undernet. Is it important? I don't know. I see it everywhere. And there was something about Control's reaction. It yeah, I'm pretty sure about that as well. Won't we get in trouble? Oh, my head. I don't feel good. You don't have a head, Chemist. You're running on a low <laughs> clock speed processor, so that's why you're struggling. Take yourself offline while you do the search. I'll be okay without you for a while. You need to swim. You remember how to do that? You need to copy yourself into the other networks and travel upstream. I remember. You're looking for Cora, remember? I want old data. Where did the name come from? That's your focus. I will try. Going now. Camus Automata now offline. Alright, there we go. Well, look at that, guys. Uh, we have done quite a lot in this episode. And I have a feeling, I'm really sure that we may need to upgrade our pet here, our dog. Um, yep, not quite sure exactly how, when we're going to be able to do that and where, but um, you know what? I think we're going to have to end up the episode right here for now. And when we come back in the next one, we are going to keep exploring and see what other quests are going to pop up in our next episodes. Alright, anyway, as usual guys, thank you all very much for watching another episode of Cloudpunk. I really hope you enjoyed this, and of course if you did, please make sure to hit on that like button down below, as that will help me quite a lot. And if you guys are new here and haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing that, and hit on that notification bell to get notified as soon as the next episode is out. Alright, stay safe, and I'll see you all in the next adventure real soon. Bye!